Hello, Daniel Handy, coming to you from Anderson, South Carolina. I have this terrible, terrible squeak on my L uh, GS 300 2000 model Lexus. This squeak is terrible. I tried a lot of stuff. I even made a little hole in the upper ball joint when I found out where the squeak was coming from. And it worked for a little while and I thought I had fixed this problem. Because the car really is not worth a whole lot of money, but the squeak is driving me and my wife nuts. So what I did, I looked at a video, and sure enough, it's just a swing arm on the upper ball joint. So what I'm going to do, I watched a video of a guy, I think he was in the UK, did a fantastic job on changing this thing. So let's see if this video helped me to be able to change this swing arm. It's a little bit cold outside. It's under 40 degrees. That's pretty cold out here for a shade tree mechanic like myself. But I'm going to... I'm going to see how well this video did. I'm going to try to do this myself. Oh, and if you like this, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little that little bell button down there on your YouTube. That'd be wonderful. That'd help me out to get subscribers. That helps out a whole lot. But uh, anyway, hang with me, and uh, I'll be right back. Let's get down to business. Thanks. All right, there it is. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, man, I just spilled some of my coffee. All right, let me put this stuff down here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my tools together and get this thing ready because that's kind of unnecessary. I would hope everybody knows how to take a tire off of a car. So, uh, be right back. Mm -mm. Coffee's good on a cold, crispy morning. Mm -mm. Oh, again, thanks for watching. <clears throat> All right, here we go. All right, I'm back. I'm gonna go ahead and do a fast motion here so you can kind of see what's going on. Now, one thing you wanna remember is safety first always. Had a, a friend's brother years ago. I uh, was by himself, he jacked up a cart, fell off, and he had his arm up like this, and it crushed his, his whole wrist, the bones so bad that uh, he's had a messed up hand uh, still for the rest of his life. He is still alive, but he had to deal with that the rest of his life. So safety first, always safety first. I'm gonna show you what I like to do. Let me put this in fast motion. Let me get in here and show you what it looks like. Okay. All right, this is the old one, this is the new one. Looks fairly simple. It looks like there's your main ball joint thing, this plastic thing, I'm not sure what to do about that. I think it comes off. Uh, and I've got three bolts, so let's see what happens. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to take this off just like this fine fella showed me. And let's see what happens here. All right. Uh, let me go get my tools. Well, I forgot to turn the light on my camera, so now you can get just a little better view of it. What you call shade treating it right here now. Look at this. Tools right there in the back of my truck. So I should better go over here and see what I need to take this mug out. All right, let's see here. You got this pin here. That's kind of obvious what's got to happen here. Uh, all right, it's been around pretty good. So let's just get it and actually, actually, how does that thing connect? Well, apparently I got it. Uh, I just jerked it real hard. I think the, the one, the new one comes with one. So that shouldn't be too big of a problem. All right. Let's get the trusty old adjustable wrench. Let's just see what happens. I'm just curious. Uh-oh, uh -oh, that didn't feel good. That didn't feel good at all. Uh-oh. Okay. Apparently we're going to have to... Apparently I got to get one that fits it. Now what size did he say? He actually told me on this thing, but I don't remember what he said. Let's see here. Let me look over here. I'm just gonna look over here and see if I can find something that looks about right. Ah, now that feels pretty good. <clears throat> oh, that didn't feel good. 
Hey, it worked. Look, look. I broke it loose. So here we go. Taking this thing loose right here. It's kind of an obvious thing. Okay. Look at that. Not bad at all. I tell you what, you know, sometimes you just have to do things yourself because it's so expensive to keep up a car. So expensive. You know, there's a lot, a lot of things when you think about it, especially these new cars are just getting out of control with all the technology, which is great. Now, I do love technology, but now it looks like I'm gonna have to hit that thing because it don't appear to be like it's gonna come out easy. So what I'm gonna do is take this trusty hammer right here. I'm gonna bop it. Now that guy, that guy that did this before, he didn't have a problem. Uh oh. Huh. Man. Ah. Whew. All right. What in the world's wrong with this thing? Okay. What it is, this, the wheel here is in the way. And I can't get a good hit on it. Let me try it this way. Oh, it worked. I was just hitting it wrong. Now, don't that feel good when so. Well, at least it didn't hit me in the head, hey. All right, now, this is my crazy swing arm here. I did notice that he tilted that up, which is cool. So let me just see if I, I can tilt that up and see if I got the right size for this. What's that now? YouTube. We got my fine neighbor right over here. All right, that's my fine neighbor. Apparently he's gonna put six locks on his uh, on his uh, storage building. Okay, let's get in here and see what's happening. All right, I gotta find a wrench to fit that mug right here. Seems like I'm. Oh, I found it! I found it! It's a number fourteen. All right, let's see how this works. Uh, let me try this one first, just cause I can get to it for good. Oh, that ain't good. Oh man, surely if I strip this thing, I'm in trouble. I think I got to get a box in. Box in 14. Ah man. All right, hold on. Let me go find me a a box in 14. I think it's what I got to have. All right, I've got this. Uh, this wrench right here just kind of poked from here up to the top to hold this swing arm out of my way. But uh, apparently I have got to go find a 14 box in wrench. Now out of all these wrenches, it looks like I don't have it. So I've got to go find it, apparently. Because I believe i got to have it. I'm going to go look around and see if I have any more luck. I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. I found a 14 box in wrench saves me some time because i gotta have it to get this thing off to keep it from stripping if it strips you're in trouble all right let's get on with the business here no oh that's tight oh, oh. oh i turned it all right that's a good sign oh, oh man that's hard Man, that guy made it look so easy. The video, it ain't easy either. He did good though. Okay, it's getting easier. Looking good. Starting to get excited again. I do my excited dance again. All right, all right. It's still kind of cold out here. Okay, I gotta get this one more. I've gotta break this loose here. Oh, that sounded good. Sounded good, sounded good. All right. Uh oh, that hurt. Ow. All right, hold on. I just can't hide it. Oh. Ugh. I'm about to lose control and I don't like it. I like to have control. Okay. All right, I'm just happy. Okay, then I noticed once he broke it loose, he turned it around, just gave away. You know what? The bad thing about paying a mechanic is it's the time. Cause you gotta take it to them, you, you gotta leave it with them, you gotta get a ride, you gotta do all the stuff. So I really, 
Ow. I like to do things myself. That way I know what's going on. This, it is a Lexus. Lexus is just flat out the best car anywhere. Just look around. You'll see them running around with 200,000 miles still look brand new. Just a little note. Okay, this video is not gonna be good for anybody unless you're trying to change a swing arm. But you know what's cool about YouTube? I love YouTube. YouTube, it lets the people be in control of what they wanna put on. You don't have to go to a big network and try to get some big contract to, to do what you wanna do. So what it is, you get to do things as you wanna do them without any kind of a problem. Uh-oh, what is this? What's, this thing's hitting the spring right there. Look at this. See that spring? It's hitting right here. So I gotta figure out a way to get it around that. Let's see here. Uh-oh. It's a long boat. Uh, man, how long is it? How in the world am I going to get that other one out of there? The whole coil spring's in the way. Now, he didn't say nothing about that in the video. There's no way that thing's going to come out of there. Wait a minute. It's hitting the spring. How am I going to get that out around that? The spring is in the way. Ooh, I got a pile of I don't even have a rag. I don't, I got a, hold on a minute. This thing is really doing wrong, a little bit wrong here. How in the world am I gonna get that around that spring? I can't spring it up, I can't spring it down. What in the world? What in the world am I gonna do about that? Okay, he did not say that. Right, let, let me get this grease off my hand. Oh no, now it got on my shirt. Oh man, hold on. Okay. Okay. This here's an unforeseen problem right here that's causing me a problem. So the bolt will not come out because there's not room that's hitting here before this releases. What well, only thing I can think of to do is put a jack under here and jack this wheel up a little bit and see if I can make it release uh, to give myself a little room. So now I gotta go find another jack. What in the world? Well, apparently it would pay <clears throat> if I found it was easier to find my jack to jack this thing up to release the bolt. <clears throat> Guess where I found it? At all this work in my truck, tearing it apart. Guess what? It's in the jack hole right there where it goes. And stupid me, didn't think to look there. <clears throat> all right, let's get this here. Uh, now let's see what happens if I do this. Might work, it might not, but we're getting ready to find out like my daddy always said try something even if you tear it up basically he was all out for trying stuff <clears throat> that's what i taught my boys they know how to tear a lot of stuff up especially one of them i'm not gonna name names all right <laughs> let's see all right let's see here let's see if it'll spring this thing up uh-oh it's working <clears throat> Give me some clearance. Give me some clearance. Oh man, that's hard. Okay, let me look. I gotta make sure that don't pop out because that could really hurt someone. You mess with springs and stuff. Uh -oh. oh man, come on, a little more. Uh -oh. Okay, let me try and give it a little more. Oh, pooey, it's lifting up my whole car. It's almost cleared. It's like right there. Much. But how am I going to get that off? Come on now. So close. So close. So close, but yet so far. It's not 50. What do you do? I don't like being a shade tree mechanic. What was I even talking about? Uh, uh, <clears throat> oh, pooey. All right, let me try something else. I'm gonna, right now I'm gonna let this down and try to release that spring arm a little bit. Let me try it. I'm gonna cut it off for a minute.
think I may have figured this out without having to take the coil spring loose. It looks like, if you'll look right here, what I did is, uh, hold on. Oh man, I just got grease all over my thing here. Anyway, look, uh, what I did, I put this back up in there and it adjusted the angle here. Went by the top of it. Now, I think I'm gonna be able to get it out, but I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it back in. Oh man, I can't believe I got grease all over that thing just now. What in the world? Okay. How in the world am I gonna get it back in? Okay, but let's don't worry about that right now. Let's just lay that there and be happy. Okay, look, it looks like, no, they're identical. Both of these are identical, so I, I don't think it matters if I get them mixed up. Okay, let's try to take it off. Ha uh, uh, uh. <laughs> ha, I got it, I got it. Now, question number two, what do I do? Wait, let me get that out of the way a minute. Look at that, it's all, it's all up in my way. Okay, old one, new one. Oh, it says right, and that says left. Ah, uh, nope, just kidding. It's the right one. Okay, I did get this at O'Reilly, by the way, which is a very good place to get stuff. Ugh. And now I gotta get this off because I can't even I can't even get this. What can I do with that big wrench? Oh, there it is. Okay. Take this off here. This thing's got a plastic thing on it. Uh I don't know what that is. I think it comes off. Aha, it does. Toss that. Now, my big dilemma now is going to be how in this world to get this thing. Man, that wouldn't look like it went good. Oh, I got it upside down. No, wait. Yep, sure did. <laughs> got to go like this. It looks like that could be important. <laughs> okay. Right. Look at there. Snaps in place like a, like a stinking glove. <laughs> It actually did. I was just kidding, but I think it did. <sighs> All right, that looks good. Now, to try to get this bolt right here back in, that is going to be my issue right there. And I bet you it ain't going to be easy. Oh, poof, I could hold on to it. Oh, I ain't got time for this. I got things to do. All right. I uh, know. Oh, no. Yeah, that's the problem I thought I was going to have. I'm trying to get that thing lined up and get in there. <sighs> Man, if that coil spring wasn't there, I wouldn't have a problem at all. It'd go right in. Uh, there's got to be some secret to this thing that I don't know. Somebody's trying to do something. Oh, man, that hole was bigger. Actually, I had to knock this out, which is make, it means it's going to make this very difficult to get back in. Uh, wait a minute. I won't even hardly go in there without the thing in there. But that coal's ringing away. Actually, I can spin it. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Uh, this is why kids should go to college. Uh, actually, have to go to college to learn how to do this, I think, nowadays. But let's see. Oh, wait a minute. That felt good. It felt like it might be lining up. Uh, uh. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Uh, mm, mm. Uh, woo. Okay. Such a tight fit. What? That's got threads in it? Oh, it don't. Wait. Okay, there it goes. All it's gotta do is go through there. Very simple. Okay. Because it's threaded actually on this side. Alright, I ain't got time for this. Come on now. I think I'm, it'll be quicker for me to take this loose from the bottom and then try to swing this out a little bit so I can actually get to it. I hate to say it, but I think I'm about to do it. Okay, I brought out the old trusty Dewalt to take this off here. There's one screw. Make sure I don't lose that. I got one over here. Uh-oh, that didn't feel good. I think I might have just stripped it. Wrong size and crazy metrics. All right, let me. Okay, uh, I found a number. What is this thing? Looks like a number, a trusty number 12 to get this thing here off. Let's see if it'll work. Oh, yeah. Broke it loose. Now I'm going to get the trusty D-Walk. 
Uh-oh, that didn't feel good. That thing had a strong spring to it. Not cool. What is that thing for? Ah, oh, nah. Apparently that thing's binding, so what I gotta do is try to jack this thing back up, apparently. I just did something, I didn't know what I was doing. All right, probably shouldn't have done that. All right, let's, let's see if I can fix what I just did. Okay, I got one out of there. It's binding. Let me show you where it's binding. See that right here? It's binding right here because apparently this big arm here has some kind of tension on it. Apparently. Oh, man. There it is. Okay, hold on. Okay, not bad. Okay, that worked. Just swung it out of the way just a little bit. So I got that loose. Now, I gotta take this spring loose thing here. Big old giant whatever. What in the world am I gonna do about that? Hold on. All this wouldn't have to happen if I could've just one little thing. I can hit it. I can't get no leverage. taking this thing off here to where I can swing this this arm up out of the way okay I hate that I got grease on my tripod I ain't happy about that at all okay all right now if you look I got this mug loose now so it gave me a little more room to be able to get this bolt in so let's let's try it let's see what happens here I had no idea this is going to take me this long. The video surely didn't look like it had. Man, that ain't springing out like I want it to. Come on, I just need a little bit of room. Okay, I'm just gonna cut this off a minute. I'll tell you about it when I get it. Okay, I've got most everything tight. I uh, got it back in now. Look how, look how this thing lines up so beautifully. This is just like that. And take my new bolt here, right here. And I don't see any kind of a, really a, a washer or anything that shouldn't make that not work right. Okay, now I just gotta tighten this mug up like so uh, I have a upper ball joint swing arm fully assembled and I just got to put the wheel back on be in good shape so if you uh oh I'll, I'll load stuff every now and then uh, on YouTube but uh, thanks for watching uh, my name is Daniel Hamby here in Anderson South Carolina and I do have a lot of videos online uh, different kind of things. You can go to Daniel Hamby on YouTube and you'll see me and my beautiful wife and Just you can I've got different playlists for different things that's going on in my life uh, One of them is how-to so I do a lot of different kind of how-to's not necessarily mechanicing, but I will give it a shot Thank you for watching and if you don't mind give me a subscribe helps me out a whole lot a whole lot more than you think I appreciate that just subscribe to me if you don't mind and that little uh, thing that looks like a bell if that's not checked, you won't get alerted or anything. You can just browse through my channel anytime you want. But if you'd like to get alerted when I do load a new video, just click on that little bell thing. You'll get a little, little text, and you can ignore it or whatever you want to do. But anyway, thanks for watching. Daniel Hamby, How To. Have a great and wonderful day. See ya.